Hi everyone, I am Riza. So today I'm going to create a game in 5 hours. So let's get started. Okay guys, the time is currently 9.26. So let's move forward. So the first thing we need is we need a basic plan. So for that, I'm going to create a plan right now. So here we have a rocket. Inside there is a character. Then on the other side, we have a coronaviruses. So just imagine this is also coronaviruses. And now the idea is if the character touches the coronavirus, the game will be over. And if the character um, goes without touching the coronavirus, um, the you, you could get the score. So I'll explain again. So just imagine this coronavirus is moving on that direction as I drawn. And this character move on that dire direction. And if they join together, the game will be over. And also like... We can see over here so if that um touches it will game over or you can um, move by uh, going a little bit little a bit down and if you go on the dash direction the score will be increases so this is our basic plan now let's jump into unity and make our game okay now we are in unity and i'm gonna uh, name the project so i'm gonna give it as go corona and I'm gonna select Judy and I'm gonna click on create project. Okay guys, now we are in Unity Editor. Okay, the first thing I did is I added the character to the game and I gave him physics. physics. Now let's do the movement. The core are super simple. If you want to press on up power key, it will go up. And if you press on the down arrow key, it will go down. Or you can use W and this. Which is going to look something like this. Nice. After that, I created a camera movement script. That means wherever the player goes, the cam uh, the camera will follow the player. Then I create empty game objects and rename it as game manager. And I added the script to the game manager. And I make the player and the main camera as the child of game manager. So that the camera follows the player. Then I added the background to the game that I draw using Photoshop so that the game would look colorful. But the problem is it looks kind of boring so I'm going to make it as a looping background so that it looks like this. Very, Very nice. nice. After that I added the obstacle to the game and resized it and make it as a prefab. After that I have created a new script called spawn obstacles which helps to spawn obstacles on different position like on x-axis and y-axis so that it will look like this so that the game is now almost playable then i added boss collider for top and bottom so that the player could not go out of the screen i also added the collider for both player and the obstacle after that i created a new c sharp script for obstacles so that if the obstacle touches the player the game will be over after that i have created a game or screen so if you lose the game it will show that particular screen and there is also a restart button so there is only one hour and two minutes left so let's do fast as soon as possible okay guys so that's all about our games now i added a small small things like start menu um new six etc and now we are going to create the post menu so yeah let's jump into it so the first thing i did is i just searched for the google to download a play button a resume button and a home button and now i'm gonna download it Now we have downloaded the, the files and I'm going to add to the Unity, the resume button, home button and the play button. And now I'm going to do some coding so that these buttons will work. Now let's see the functions of these buttons. So if you press on the uh, resume button, it will resume the game. So if you press on the play button, it will play the game and the home button to uh, go to the main menu as you can see that. And that's it. We have completed our project. Now let's um, export this project and upload to it. Uh, it dot io. So I'm gonna upload it. As you can see that it's loading. 
and you can download this um, pro- uh, game for windows it's absolutely free as you can see that yeah we have finished our projects on time now i will show you how to download and play this game so just go to my website and click on the download button after that wait until it downloaded all right it's downloaded now double click on it now open windows 1 and this is only available for windows okay now click on go corona.exe and click on extract all I click on extract and wait until it extracted. After it downloaded, a new uh, window will be opened. So again, click on go corona.exe after opening Windows file. Now click on more info and click on run anyway. If you see like this notification. And that's it guys. So you have been installed my game. So you can click on start and you can play the game. Now if you install this game and if you get a score more than 100, you can just send me the screenshot of that score to my email ID. So my email ID in the description below. So yeah, just send it. So yeah, that's all about today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye and Please make sure to subscribe to this channel.